I have two post-it notes on my bulletin board in lab, which have gained a knowing chuckle from many people who have stopped by my desk in the past few months. So I've made some tea so that we can talk about it. The first post-it note says, I am here to learn. I put this up sometime in my second year because I had to keep reminding myself that the whole reason why I'm in grad school is in fact to learn. I spent a lot of my first and second year in grad school feeling really stupid and just feeling like I was behind, feeling like I should know a lot of stuff that I didn't know, feeling confused and just feeling so out of place. I definitely felt too like so many of my peers and my classmates already knew so much of the stuff that we were supposed to be learning about, that they already had spent so much time in labs that did similar things, that they were already experts in this and they were here in grad school to you know do research and forge ahead and find out new things and all this kind of stuff. Whereas I felt like, you know, my undergraduate education was great, but I hadn't really done a lot of molecular biology. And so I was learning all of this stuff for the first time and I felt like maybe I was in the wrong place. I was having a conversation about my project with someone towards the end of the first year and he looked at me and said, oh, well, have you tried RFLP? I sort of shook my head and said, no, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. And he looked at me surprised and said, a graduate student in the genetics department at Stanford should know what RFLP is. And I don't think he meant it to be mean. I think he was honestly just surprised I didn't know, but it just crystallized all of the feelings I had been having that year about the fact that there was so much stuff that I was supposed to know that I didn't know and everyone else around me seemed to know that what was I doing here? And I experienced this feeling in so many little and big ways over the course of my first and second year that at some point mid second year, I had to stop and say, you know what? I am here to learn. If I knew all this stuff already, I wouldn't need to be in graduate school. I would just be able to go out and do research on my own. I wouldn't need school. The whole point of me being here is to learn these things and to expose myself to these things. And so I put this post-it note up as a daily reminder that it's okay that I don't know everything. That's why I'm here. I'm here to learn. I still find this to be a hugely important reminder to myself. Anytime I'm reading a paper and I have to look up something that maybe I should already know, or every time I need to ask for help on a new protocol that I haven't done before, or every time that I'm in a conversation with someone and they drop some term that I've never heard and I have to go look it up, I have to remind myself that I'm here to learn and it's okay. And I've gotten a lot better about that feeling. Once I sort of said that to myself and I put that post-it note up, every time I have that feeling of like, oh, why don't I know this? It's okay because I'm here to learn. And just being able to say that to myself makes me feel so much better. I am here to learn. It's okay that I don't know everything yet. But that doesn't mean that it's always easy. And there was some particular night early in my third year where I was in lab and it was like 11 o'clock at night and I'd been there all day trying to make this one thing work and then it failed at 11 and there was other stuff going on and I was just upset and I was grumpy and I was like, this sucks, this sucks. And I look up and I see my post-it note. And in this grumpy fit late at night, I scribbled a new post-it note out and I stuck it right up there with it. I'm here to learn the hard way. I truly am in graduate school because I want to learn. I'm not here because I want to stay in academia and become a professor someday. I'm not here because I'm trying to set myself up for some, you know, amazing faculty position. I'm here because I want to learn genetics. I chose this field because I wanted to learn about it. I wanted to really sort of steep myself in genetics culture at the moment. I wanted to really live life as a geneticist and really get in here and I'm here to learn. But I could have done this a lot easier. But if all I wanted was to learn about genetics, I could do that without getting a PhD. I could read lots of papers and read lots of books and I could talk to lots of great scientists and I could learn about genetics without having to go through the graduate school process. But instead I decided to do it this way so that I could get the full experience and so that I could also continue to contribute to research and to science because I love that and I missed that in the time that I wasn't in science. And so I really did want to come back and do research and contribute and learn by doing. 
but sometimes I remind myself that I could have chosen to do this in other ways, and maybe the way that I chose was the hard way. And there have been multiple graduate students and postdocs who have stopped by my desk recently and sort of pointed at the post-its and chuckled, like, yeah, yeah, you did, you did, kid. And that's okay. I'm very glad that I chose to learn this way. But having that post-it, that snarky little post-it up there, makes me feel a little better about it sometimes. So to my fellow graduate students and everyone out there who is still learning life by doing, because really, we're all learning the hard way in this world called life, I raise my tea to you in salute. Go forth, do science, and don't forget to put up some snarky post-it notes from time to time. <laughs>